A, B, and C invested a business in partnership. Initially, A invested rupees twenty nine thousand, while B and C invested rupees twenty five thousand each. After four months, A withdrew rupees three thousand. After two months, after two more months, that means after four plus two six months, C invested twelve thousand more. Find the share of C in the profit of rupees thirty three thousand two hundred at the end of the year. So, in the given question, we know that A, B, and C invest twenty nine thousand, twenty five thousand, and twenty five thousand respectively. Now, after they have invested, now after four months, A withdrew three thousand. That means. He had invested twenty nine thousand for only four months. After that, he withdrew three thousand. That means he is left with twenty six thousand, which will be an investment for the rest of the eight months. B invested twenty four uh, twenty five thousand for twelve months. That is for the entire year. C, on the other hand, invested twenty five thousand for the first six months, and after six months. He invested twelve thousand more, so then his investment is increased by twelve thousand. That gives him thirty-seven thousand for the next six months. Now, cancelling the zeros, twenty-nine into four gives us hundred and sixteen. Plus twenty-six into eight gives us two zero eight. Is two twenty-five twelve is three hundred. Twenty five six a one fifty plus two hundred and twenty two. Now from here we get the ratios as three hundred and twenty four is to three hundred is to three hundred and seventy two. Now on dividing these by four we get eighty one is to seventy five is to ninety three. And their total is equal to two hundred and forty-nine. Now, given in the question, they have mentioned that the profit is rupees thirty-three thousand two hundred at the end of the year. That means thirty-three thousand two hundred is the value of two hundred and forty-nine, and we are asked to find the share of C, which is the value of ninety-three. So, into ninety-three. Now, on dividing by three, we get eighty-three thirty-one. On dividing thirty-three thousand two hundred by eighty-three, we get four hundred. On multiplying, we get rupees twelve thousand four hundred as the share of C in the profits. So the answer to this question is option A, that is twelve thousand and four hundred.